Hi everybody, this is JJ with ASUS. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about personalization, specifically how ASUS Z690 series and motherboards are gonna give you a great experience when it comes to defining the overall look and feel for your next build. So first and foremost, when you talk about building a system, probably the first thing you try to decide on is gonna be what type of motherboard you wanna go with. And after figuring all the specifications, you're probably trying to settle on what's gonna be the overall look and feel for that board. Now, the great thing is for ASUS's Z690 series, we've got five different series, which pretty much cover all your bases. Whether it's gonna be with the Prime series with a beautiful, clean, bold, and bright design aesthetic, which features white and silver, you're gonna be covered. If you're looking for something more monochrome, definitely the rest of our motherboard lineup is gonna have you covered really well. Whether it's gonna be with the Tough Gaming series, Series, the ProArt series, which doesn't feature any type of RGB lighting on board, or of course our ROG Strix and ROG Maxima series, which really take the aesthetics up to a whole nother level. Now beyond the physical characteristics of the motherboard when you talk about their color schemes, there's going to be some specific differences when it comes to the integrated RGB lighting. Some of the motherboards are going to have very basic or minimal RGB lighting displays, while some of the other motherboards are going to feature much more vibrant and dynamic types of RGB lighting displays. If you're looking for something a little bit more minimal or subdued, that's where the Prime series and the Tough Gaming series are going to serve you really well, or the ProArt series, as I noted earlier, doesn't feature any type of onboard RGB lighting. If you really want the most bold and bright and dynamic type of displays, take a look at the ROG Strix as well as the RG Maxima series of motherboards. In the RG Maxima series of motherboards, you're going to have the most dynamic form of RGB lighting with specialized types of designs, including edge type lighting that we're going to have, like which you can see here on the extreme, the Anime Matrix, which is the first time in the industry uh, display with 222 individual LEDs. Uh, as of course, you're also going to have specialized stat displays uh, via our Live Dash technology, which is going to give you a whole other way to be able to display useful information in terms of your system's build. Now, as you would expect, all of these motherboards fully support our ASUS Aorus Sync technology. This essentially is our name for RGB lighting control and synchronization. This is all handled through our ASUS Armor Crate software, which works across any one of the series of motherboards that I've talked about. Now, it's important to keep in mind that even for motherboards that don't feature any onboard RGB lighting or minimal RGB lighting, they can fully support and control any type of ASUS Aura product or supporting partner products. This would include everything from fans to coarse graphics cards to LED strips, peripherals, AIO coolers, LED strips, chassis with integrated LED lighting, and so many other types of RGB-based devices and peripherals and accessories. Some devices like memory or graphics cards are gonna be installed directly on the motherboard and don't require any special type of cabling. Essentially, they will be detected by the Armory Crate software and then they can be actually synchronized and controlled through the Armory Crate utility. For other types of actually common peripherals and accessories and components, they generally will utilize the RGB headers that you're gonna find on the motherboards. You're generally gonna find either a four pin header or the newer three pin digital ARGB header. Uh, our motherboards are gonna feature multiple of these headers, which also support the ability to actually utilize splitters, which means if you want to have, let's say, a splitter cable connected to one so that you can support multiple ARGB devices from one header, this is also possible. Many of the components and accessories uh, that I talked about earlier would connect to that corresponding header and then can be directly controlled and synchronized again through the Armory Crate software. For those that are looking for even more advanced level of control, including per LED lighting control, we have ASUS Aura Creator. This specialized utility is gonna offer much more advanced control specifically for ARGB based devices. So if you really wanna actually have the granularity and control to be able to, let's say, have specific patterns for your memory or specific LED lighting patterns for, let's say, a digital RGB LED strip, you can do that within ASUS Aura Creator. Now, we recently launched the very big update, version five of Armory Crate. This is what we refer to as a milestone release and it really is going to offer you the most advanced level of functionality that we've ever offered within our Armory Crate utility. It's got an entirely overhauled UI with a lot of new functions and features, and it maintains the overall low resource footprint along with many of the new improvements that we've integrated over the last couple of versions. Some of the cool presets that you'll find available to you within Armory Crate include the smart lighting mode. This will actually allow you to have your lighting aligned with the actual CPU temperature, which is pretty cool. You also have a music mode. This is great if you wanna essentially have your system's lighting react to any type of music that you're playing back. You have the popular breathing and rainbow modes. With rainbow modes, you have multiple presets, which you can go ahead and select from, as well as of course, you have the classic static, which allows you to go ahead and define any type of color that you want within the color wheel. 
This along with many other presets are all available within the ASUS Armor Crate software. And also keep in mind that you're also gonna have the ability to assign custom scenario profiles. This is a really cool level of functionality where essentially you can have different lighting applied to different types of applications or even games. So if let's say you open up your web browser and you wanna have your lighting shift over to let's say a soft white light, you can do so. And you can also go ahead and define specific types of applications to align with other types of features and functionality that your motherboard may support. An example of this might also be taking your fan controls and mapping them within a scenario profile. So again, if we were to open up our web browser, we could not only go to, let's say, a soft white glow, but we could also have our fans set to silent. As opposed to, let's say, if you jumped into a game, you could have it maybe set to a reactive type of in-game lighting, which is also supported within Armory Crate for supported games, but you could then also have, let's say, your fan profile set to turbo for better cooling performance. Last but not least, we have a brand new feature that we're introducing within version five, which is the ASUS Aura wallpaper functionality. This is a really cool way to be able to extend the overall lighting uh, environment to actually your monitor and really add a whole nother level of dynamic lighting to your entire system. Um, and it's overall a really cool feature that we'd love to hear your feedback on. And also similarly, for those of you that also have Philips Hue lighting, keep in mind that we still do maintain our Philips Hue support, which means you can scan for a corresponding Philips Hue bridge and then align your actually systems lighting along with your Philips you lighting setup. Last but not least, I want to touch on that for users out there that are utilizing a essentially fragmented RGB ecosystem, ASUS has gone ahead and worked with certain industry partners to be able to allow for a limited level of synchronization support. This would include Corsair IQ as well as NZXT CAM. Now keep in mind, ASUS does advocate for a singular RGB ecosystem. This means that actually normally we would recommend that you only have Armory Crate as far as being your primary RGB lighting control and application for the overall best stability, reliability, and functionality. But in the event that you have a mixed Corsair ecosystem with Armory Crate and ASUS-based components, or as I noted, NZXT CAM and their corresponding component lineup, you can find the corresponding information linked in the description down below if you want to attempt to uh, support a limited level of synchronization support. So overall, that wraps up our quick video here on covering just some of the really cool ways that ASUS's Z690 series and motherboards are gonna give you a great personalization experience when it comes to building your next system. So regardless of whether you're going with a white themed build, an all black build, or of course something that's RGB and lit up, ASUS is gonna have you covered. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to go ahead and drop them in the comment section down below. If you have feedback for our Armory Crate development team, make sure to go ahead and check out the actual link in the description down below for our dedicated forum for our actually Armory Crate software. I'd also love to see your guys' builds uh, and submit them via our actually ASUS PCDIY Builder Spotlight. And we actually normally have featured streams every Fridays on the ASUS North America YouTube channel. If you're interested in finding out more, make sure to go ahead and check out our ASUS PCDIY Facebook group, which is also linked in the description down below. So with that, take care, take it easy, enjoy the rest of your day, and best of luck with your build.